Hi everyone, welcome to West Explains Best. We're doing a Khan Academy tutorial today on volume by multiplying area of base times height. I really like this Khan Academy because it breaks down really what volume is all about when it's talking about prisms. Now, what is a prism? And it's, it's when you have two bases that are parallel to each other and they're identical, okay? And the only difference is they're separated by another distance called the height and then that makes it 3D. So the key to finding the volume of these 3D shapes is finding the area of the base and then multiplying it by the height. Okay, now, um, looking at the units it gives, what is the volume of the rect following rectangular prism? Uh, okay, so this is the part that I didn't see right away, but now I see it. See how it has unit squared listed there? Well, that's because, I want it, highlighted there we go that's because that is an area so if it gives you unit squared that means that's the area of the base so if we're going to break down our volume formula for a prism volume is equal to the area of a base times the height that's it that's the volume formula well we're already given the area of the base we're already given the height so we just need to plug those two things in and then we're good so we have two-thirds there we have nine fifths units squared there, and that's gonna be equal to our volume. This is uh, kind of cool too, because now we just have a simple fractions multiplication problem. If we can, let's reduce. So we can reduce here. We're gonna reduce the nine with the three, and that becomes a three in the top, and that's it. So we do the three times two in the top, six, over five times one, which is five. So our volume is equal to six over five units cubed. Now, if you didn't wanna cross cancel like I did here, you could just multiply and reduce at the end. I think it's better to do it as you go. So six over five units cubed is gonna be my answer. Six over five units cubed. Next question. Okay, what is the following rectangular prism volume? It gives us the area of the base again. If you look here, here's the base. It's identical to this one. And essentially what we're doing as we multiply by the height is we're taking these little 2D shapes and we're adding all these infinite number of stacked rectangles on top of each other to get the volume. Okay, so area of the base, we got that. Area of the base is one half. Area of the height tells us one and three fourths. Ugh, I hate uh, mixed numbers, so we're gonna convert this by doing four times one and then plus three. So four times one is four plus three is seven. So that's seven over four. I'm gonna use that number instead. Improper is the way to go. Now here's our volume. We're gonna go from here. There's nothing I can reduce, nothing I can cross cancel. So it's gonna be seven over eight uh, units cubed for my volume, seven over eight. So good practice here with volume, good practice with fractions. Um, and understanding how to calculate area. I would probably assign this at the beginning of a volume unit because I really like it. Um, you can do the same thing with uh, cylinders also. Okay, area of the base. We got that bit. It's this, area of the base. And then we have our height, that's one half. So our volume equals our base. Okay, it's in uh, mixed number form. We're gonna change that four times 16. I believe that's 64. Okay, and then we add the one, so that's 65 over four, because you multiply the number out in front and then you add that top number that's already there. So 65 over four is our area of the base, times one half. Can't cancel out the 65 with the two or the four, so we're gonna leave it at 65 in the top, eight in the bottom, and that's our final answer, 65 over eight. Almost done here, 65 over eight. Check it, next question. Last one. Okay, the base. It doesn't always have to be the top and bottom. It can be the sides. Again, the only condition is it has to be identical and it has to have that different uh, parallel and identical and then have the distance of height in between. So this, even though it's sideways, is our height. Okay, again, I said you can have a, a cylinder and this would be your base with the cylinder. You'd have this guy and this guy. One was on the inside. Okay, uh, what I mean by that here, let me redraw it. Sorry, being a little picky here look like this, and then that would be on the inside for a cylinder. Okay, you get the point. Uh, we're gonna just apply our formula. Again, we gotta convert. I don't know why it's having us do this. Eight times two, six, uh, 16 plus 117 over eight. 
And then we just have four. That's kind of cool. So we're going to have four for our height. So we can put that over one if that makes you more comfortable. It's the same thing. Otherwise, we're going to cancel the four with the eight, have the two. 17 over two because 17 times one is 17. Two times one is two. 17 over two. Units cubed. Cubic units. 3D. 17 over two. That's what I said. I said it so many times I forgot. Here we go. Check it. All right. So hopefully you guys hear it. That you did a great job. Hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. If you need more help, leave a comment on something specific you need me to cover. Otherwise, just browse my videos. Let me know what you need. And I hope to see you next time right here on West Explains Best.